Hey everybody, welcome to the Quarter Twins podcast. This is, um, I don't know if we'll call this a podcast episode, this might not be longer than 30 minutes, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm not alone today. Jordan is not here, but I have one Matthew. Hello. Hello. We are here to talk about a movie today, uh, a movie that we love, a movie that the public loves. Um, it is one Borderlands, a video game adaptation. There's not a single bad video game movie that I can think of. <sighs> well, yeah, let's let's just talk about Borderlands here. This is what we're here to talk about. So, what is your relationship to Borderlands? What what what? How has Borderlands been in your life? Because I have only seen the movie and played about forty minutes of Borderlands Three. Well, me, uh. Well, I, it is the first game that I ever bought for myself. Like, I saved up, this was like way back in, what, 2009, I think? Okay. And I saved up, I waited, I went to go get a copy, because I was just like, ah, I don't really know anything about this game, but it looks just right up my alley. Mm-hmm. Uh, and truthfully, I have bought Borderlands more times than I can count. Like, cause they keep releasing it, and yeah. I keep on buying it. Like I game do. of the year editions, remastered sequels, all of it. Yep, we I have anything that that is Borderlands, even the Telltale games that I have never played. Mm. I have it. Yeah, so I saw we saw this movie together actually, uh, eight days ago, I believe. Um. And we've had some time to sit on it, uh, and we've been thinking about it, and we've been here to review it today. Um, so, what was your, what was your initial, uh, what was your official, I should say, star rating? On my Letterboxd? official star rating on Letterbox, I think I gave it a half a star. Yes. Yeah, I gave it a half a star, and I just, I was just disappointed, mm. honestly. And it's even like. I don't know, man. I just kind of felt like I was being a hater because I know you liked it, but I, I just was like, damn, this is. It could have went so many ways. It could have told so many things. It could have done so much with, with so little. Like it didn't even have to really do that much, and yet it fell flat. It just didn't do anything. It did not a damn Sorry. thing. For me personally, of course. I I gave Borderlands uh, three stars out of five. Um, I thought it was fun, like a fun summer movie, Um, but that is, you know, a controversial opinion as the general consensus on Letterboxd is 1.7, so even you are are lower than the average review as someone with knowledge of the Borderlands series. Yeah, I I just, it, man, (laughs) like, like, I'm literally at this moment, like, whenever we first started talking about Borderlands and we went to go see it, I downloaded every single thing I had. I was like, I'm going to play this from the beginning uh, all the way till the end, or I guess till the current, because for yeah. some reason they're releasing a fourth one. Oh. But, um, and I'm playing it now, and I'm just like, man, this first one, it wasn't even really telling you much story-wise. However, it's still so enjoyable comparatively to that, that movie uh, it's just uh and i ain't gonna lie wholeheartedly for the people out there i'm being a hater Ooh. like i'm i am hated like because it because i talked to when i talked to you about it i was i thought about it the way that somebody who has never like leaned into borderlands the way i have and i was like you know i can see it I get it, mm-hmm. but at the same time, I feel like it's one of those things where you just, if you stare at it too long, you start to notice the cracks, and mm. it just, it's just, even as a cool summer flick, as you call it, yeah, it ain't that good. Right. So the, I'm going to, we're going to lean right into that summer flick sort of thing. A couple weeks prior, maybe a, more than a month, Deadpool and Wolverine came out. Another mm-hmm. similar sort of comedic action movie based on a popular series released in the summer. I personally enjoyed Borderlands more than Deadpool and Wolverine. Again, 
the general consensus is quite the opposite. Maybe I'm being a contrarian at this point, but uh, where does it compare to something like that? Uh, well, I'm on the other side of that. I definitely think that Wolverine and Deadpool was leagues better than this. And it, it's like, even for the fact that like the campiness of it, it was just like so much, like so much better. Cause they both maybe like even similarly try to do the same thing. But I just think that Wolverine and Deadpool did it better. And honestly, it probably has everything to do with the fact that Ryan Reynolds is just the king of campy. He's pretty good at it. Uh, but, I mean, even that, like, I I thought it was, the story was kind of, mm. but, like, at the same time, man, I got to see cool Hugh Jackman fight Deadpool more than once. I got yeah. to see him in a... Uh, almost comic book accurate Wolverine costume. Probably as close as we'll ever get. It's it's up there. It was good. And truthfully, like I that one part of the movie when they were like when they had just gotten to like the nowhere place or whatever it's called and like they did that scene where they was like they're gonna fight and they did that like they it was on uh Wolverine's side and he dropped down and the camera dropped down with him and then he lunged he started running towards Deadpool, I was just like, ah, oh, I'm sold. Here we this are. Is, this is exactly what I needed from yeah. this movie. Like, I don't care what else happens. It's amazing. There you go. And I think I I took that, because I heard you say that when we, because we, we didn't see Deadpool and Wolverine together. Mm-hmm. My bad. Um, I had not liked it as much because it was so goofy and not, like, as far as the MCU goes, it didn't feel like it connected well and uh you were like i saw the action it was fun that's all i needed this movie didn't take itself seriously and so i was like that's a good way to think about these these movies that are never gonna be good or great yes and so i took that that thought process into borderlands as someone who hadn't seen anything from that series and i kind of i kind of felt your feelings for this movie that I was like, it kind of had, you know, the bare minimum, and I enjoyed that. Right. And uh, I was like, okay, yeah. And and you f- sort of flip-flopped, and you were like, this movie sucks balls. <laughs> well, because, like, it didn't, I, it did not take itself seriously, I agree. But, like, you gotta be a really bad movie for me to think that the best part about that movie was Kevin Hart. Like, mm-hmm. he did a really good role in... And everyone else just kind of joked about around him. Yep. And it was just like, my worst parts of the movie was, one, Lilith, I thought that was just bad. And it kind of just seemed like they knew it was going to be bad. Because like, every scene you saw with her, her hair just kept getting worse and worse. It just, <laughs> it was almost comical how it just kept seeming like it was growing. And um, I don't know the actress name who played Tiny Tina, but I... It, what was that, man? Like, it, what, what, what was the point of her whole thing? Like, she's like, I'm the special one. I am in control. Like, if you played Borderlands 2, you would know Tiny Tina, she had more than a few screws loose. Mm-hmm. But she was never going to, like, she was never begging to be special. She just right. knew she was. Like, she just knew who she was and what she was doing. And is she still like a Eldian, Iridian clone or whatever? Um, that's a thing. Yeah, I that whole that whole little side thing. I just remember from because again, I'm playing this. I haven't played Borderlands in a while. Uh, what I am remembering of her is that she, her parents were killed, mm-hmm. but they never mentioned anything about her being Iridian. They, like. She was not a clone. She was like she she had two parents and was not a clone. Hmm. And you even I think you even go through one of her missions is to go kill the guy who killed her parents. Ah. Her parent definitely was not the owner of the Ap- Atlas Corporation. Like okay, that that's just something they made up. Yeah, I mean Atlas barely even played a role. Like it was there, but like to center them and make them the main villain seemed kind of weird. Hmm. You know, interesting. The, even the way she said "badonka donk," I just was like, <laughs> like I, because that's something that Tiny Tina says, but she doesn't say it like that. Mm. Like it, like it just, it's, it felt weird. It felt like she didn't believe that she was saying it. Right. Like she, 
she wasn't crazy enough. She just mm. wasn't crazy enough. She does seem sort of like she's she's testing the waters on how to be crazy. Yes, if you will. And the hair, I the, not a fan it, of the hair. It's like her hair is accurate. The ears are accurate, but the it just kind of seemed like somebody placed that on her. It looked like a headdress. It definitely is. It's a wig for sure. We have a we have an image over here of her. Yes, that I'm seeing. Just looking at it. Yeah, it definitely. It's like it's too big for her head. Yeah, like it doesn't Perhaps. seem right. And it's I so badly wanted to like this movie, and I just mm. when I saw the first trailer, I just was like, it's not gonna be good. Wow, you knew you knew right away. Yeah, because <laughs> well, of the cast, really. Because like you got great people in the cast. You got uh, let's see. Kate Blanchett as Kate, Lilith. Yeah. Kate Blanchett. Uh, you got Jamie Lee Curtis as Tannis. And, like, realistically, those people are great. I, also, Kevin Hart's there. I mean, yeah. he's not really as great, but he's not bad. He, he, he can act when he really, really wants to. Yeah. But um, the great cast, I feel like they had a terrible foot out the door, though. Like, it, yeah. one, I truthfully kind of feel as though that all of them were a little bit too old. Like, because the cast of Borderlands are older people, but, like, I'll give them mid-30s. Not Jamie Lee Curtis or Kate Blanchett. Yeah. Like, or even Kevin Hart. Like, how, how old is Kevin Hart now? Like, what, 40 He's something? He's like, late 40s, early 50s yeah. right now. Like, uh, I mean, Tiny Tina, I want to say the actress who played her was probably accurate. I don't remember how old Tiny Tina was, but, like, yeah, she had her own other set of things going on with her yeah um so we talked a little bit about just just a moment ago we spoke about the initial thoughts before you even saw the movie you were going into it with high hopes and low expectations yes and so you come out of the movie theater and we talk about it and i'm thinking i'm, I'm in my head i'm like you know that was kind of good <laughs> you know maybe maybe i didn't you know i didn't hate it and you're like it sucked. It was just right, right out the gate. You were like, the the initial reaction was just, "This is awful. I'm so disappointed." What 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 could, what could they have done, that maybe would have made it passable? Because my first thought when you talked about the older cast was, they casted a people who would want to do this at all. You know, Kevin Hart and Jamie Lee Curtis and Jack Black. And then they casted uh, names, right? Kate, right. Kate Blanchett, Kevin Hart. These are these are big names these days. Even Ariana Greenblatt, uh, Tiny Tina. Mm. She was just in the Barbie movie. She was, uh, she was recently a younger That's Ahsoka in Star Wars. Um, she's been coming up in the world. So these, you know, they, ha they have... People who they think will bring people to the theater. And my thought was, if they wanted to make a movie... Like, I feel like they could make this movie exactly the same script. Everything shot exactly, edited the same. But if they had a cast of people who knew these games... Or, like, relatively unknown actors who more aesthetically fit the characters... It might have just elevated it to a passable level. Uh, yeah, I I mean, I think it would have made the movie more enjoyable, but I, what I personally think, like, even if you take all the stuff wrong with this movie, like, all that, like, the, the actors and all that jazz, I thought the story kind of fell flat. Mm. I thought it was completely unnecessary. I thought, like, when you first go into Borderlands, Lilith knows she is... Like, uh, she knows what she is, like a... Like, Iridian yeah, princess like, key thing. Yeah, she knows that. Like, and she's confident in that. Like, it's not like a like a found story of her, like, discovering that. It, right. And it just... Even, like, the Roland thing, his, his made sense because he did run away from his um, army or whatever. But, like, it's just, like, the... No confidence. The even the Tannis thing. The Tannis was it was so weird because like, if I'm remembering correctly, like Tannis, Moxie, like they were older than the like original cast, but like 
not that much older, but like now Tannis was her mom's like best friend or mm. something like that. Okay. Because like realistically, if you think about who Tannis was, you would never leave her with a child. You would right. just literally never leave her with a child or trust her to do anything. And I ain't gonna lie, Jamie Lee played really good at being lost because that's all Tannis ever really is and she never really cares about what's going on with other people because yeah. she loses her mind when she first gets to Pandora. Okay. Like like Pandora was like supposed to be this uh escape to a new world type of deal and then they were like, Oh, the vault and that essentially like spread a bunch of companies into like going there and mining it for like iridium and looking for this vault. Right. But instead, like, yeah, they went to the vault, they found the vault, and there was nothing there, and except for, like, a monster that they never show. And in, in the game, there's also a monster, but, like, you fight it. Right. Like, But realistically, all they did was drop off a bad guy and then leave. I also was very disappointed not to see a single, like, name thing. You know, when the, when the boss shows up and it, like, freezes and it's like... <laughs> Yeah, that would have been so cool. Like, not a single time. Not a, not once. Like you just like that would have been so good. Like to announce. They did, I think they did that in the credits. Yeah, but they, it, they needed to be. If they would announce every single person, like every new character, they announce like if they matter to the story. Yeah. Announce them as. Yeah. Would have been cool. That but was, yeah. they was just like ah, we don't got enough time. But they wasted their time doing a whole bunch of other necess unnecessary things. Yeah. Oh, and also I, I forgot to mention Jack Black. Mm. You know, I would have preferred to see David Cross as, like, mm. Claptrap. You know, that would have been so much better. Okay. But, like, Jack Black, he, he did the role, and it was, like, it could have been funny, because he does do funny, but he could have, they could have gave him better lines. I don't know, made him, let him yeah. play with the role a little bit, but Is really, he listen. like that, where he is forced into servitude and, like, hopes you die? It's, he, he, he has joked about you dying, he, it's not that he hopes you die. He's joked about you dying, but he is not really there to help you. Mm. He does guide you, but he he's not forced into servitude. Right. He's just kind of a guy who's just around, and people are pretty much annoyed with him, but they also... He's a established character, because at first it's a bunch of them, and then it's just the one. Like, I think by I two see. or three, it's just... Might be two. He's the last one. Are they all... They're all claptrap? Or is that his name? They're all Cloud Trap. It's because it, it stands for something at the moment. I, I can't really think about what that is. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in general, uh, we I mean we've already compared it a little bit to the video game, but is there like a is there a key difference? You know, like you you've talked about the the characters' ages being aged up. Yeah. Um, is there like a particular video game thing that you? needed in this movie that they just didn't do because it seems like they chose the most generic parts of the story mm -hmm. to make the safest movie they could yeah and then filled it with like fan service and whatever and then because of that they had to change some stuff you know like tiny tina isn't in the first game or and and where is handsome jack oh uh, he's or, second game also right I mean, he so would have been a better villain. The the point. timeline is all sorts of messed up. Yeah. What 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 would you have preferred to see that that was from the video game directly? One, I think it would have been better for them to do more monsters. Mm -hmm. Like they did the psychos, but they're not really monsters; they're just people. They did show a scrag, but like just for a second, and it, it made no sense. But there are so many other monsters that are on the like Borderlands world yeah. two i think it would have been really funny like just maybe even so with like a nod to anybody that uh you whenever you die you don't you don't just straight up die like you get you get a chance to like kill something if you kill one thing before you die mm -hmm. you get a a second wind and honest to god i thought they were gonna do it whenever kevin uh my bad uh whenever roland kevin hart yeah was down in there he was like oh, i'll meet you guys there and it kind of seemed as though they were not into that that he killed like a couple people like because he made it out of there where the where all of them were struggling he somehow made it out yeah without dying mm -hmm. and i thought they were gonna say like they were like oh how the hell did you make oh how did you you're make fine, it out of there and he was like, oh, I got a couple second wins. 
Yeah. Like, but they didn't. And it, it was just kind of like, man, like, at least if you're going to be like this, at least lean heavy yeah. towards the game gameplay aspect, you know? Right. So that makes me think of the uh, Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves movie. Did you see that last year? Yes, yes, okay. I did. So that was one of the games that I, or like movies last year, that I thought was very comparable to this movie mm. in sort of a, as, as, as far as an adaptation goes, that this was, that Dungeons & Dragons was like a very faithful adaptation. They, they took stuff from the world building and the lore, but they also had aspects of the gameplay kind of playing out in right. certain scenes. There's a moment where um, the barbarian girl is like beating all these guards up Mm -hmm. and um, Chris Pine is like rubbing his uh, bonds on the stairs and like can't untie his ropes yeah. and it's like he's rolling really badly mm -hmm. and then she is just rolling 20 after 20 after 20 killing everybody Yeah. and so there's there it felt like there were aspects of the gameplay in that movie even you know it's very subtle because Dungeons and Dragons is more more or less entirely imaginative um, but this game just didn't have any of that at all and it's it's it is disappointing to see that as as somebody who hasn't played the game at all really um, I'm not missing out on any of that so maybe I have sort of an ignorance is bliss as far as the adaptation part of it goes because like I looked at tiny Tina I was like great character design I thought Lilith's hair was ridiculous but like the psychos all looked cool, Agreed. you know. Like I, I thought all of Pandora felt very realized, mm -hmm. um, as far as interesting things go. I definitely agree about the monster thing. I thought there could have been more monster stuff. They had that big, like field full of monster piss <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, I mean though they, they had that field, and the monster was there because that's what pissed on them. Yeah, but. They didn't show it. They they didn't even bat. Oh my bad. They did show it because they, they drove it through up. it. They yeah. blew through. And like, don't get me wrong. They have some that are big, but like that did seem a bit too big. Almost mm. like Titan sized monster. And realistically, these are things in which they do vary in size, and they can be like uh, electrical, caustic, fire, and like it's caustic. It 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 can be cool, mm -hmm. but it, they just was like ah oh, no nah, man. These like essentially it's, it felt it felt like the monsters are such a big part of the game mm -hmm. and yet they were like ah what do we need them for this we're gonna just make movie. this a people through people movie yeah and the monsters will just be there off to the side like you know they're there like because realistically what I think personally is that you can take this movie remove the name maybe change the character's name and this would just be a movie yeah like it'll be a movie but instead I felt like they took the Borderlands IP and was like slap it on the nerds will come the nerds will come and I'm sure people did but it it, it just blew yeah like, and it it's really hard to like be a non-bias I guess mm -hmm. yeah I mean it happens right um so if they announce you know god forbid they get a sequel I'm gonna see it uh, you're there, I'm obviously. Yeah. Um, what would you hope for now that they've mixed up the timeline and stuff? How how do they save it? Well, what? Uh, <laughs> I don't think you can, to be honest. You can't even. Do like it. I think you gotta kind of just go with what you got, or you restart the whole thing. But they're not gonna restart the whole thing. No. So you go with what you got, but you tell a better story. Okay. You know, like, because the guy, I just, I can't even remember, did uh, the Atlas guy die? I don't, yeah, he got sucked into the vault or something. Oh, right, 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 right. yeah, they dropped him off in the vault. I don't know, man, they probably oh, gonna yeah. slap Handsome Jack in there. Like, God forbid they put the villains from part three in, because, man. The twins? Are they twins? Yeah. The siblings? Uh, like, they're twins, but he was like, like, the, the little, uh bad twin that like was eating off of her or something like that mm -hmm. it was they sucked <laughs> uh but the, 
if you they'll probably bring out Handsome Jack, probably get what's that one dude named Goldblum to play him or something like that. Jeff Goldblum. I there honestly go. God would I would watch that. But <laughs> that guy's great. He's good uh, at everything. Uh, yeah. I mean I think that's the kind of exact kind of energy you need for Handsome Jack. Okay. Uh, I would watch that, but I I think if like I said, if you're gonna do this, if you're gonna be the way that they are, you gotta lean more towards that video game. Like you can't just create a movie right. and be like, this is Borderlands. Nah, bro, show me that it's Borderlands through your actions. Right. Put the don't I don't just know, put the name on the in the colors. Put the in there. like maybe the health bar at the bottom. Put the more monsters mm-hmm. and also. They didn't focus enough on guns. It's literally a looter shooter. Right. Like it. There's no loot. There's a gun that shoot more guns, and yet nothing. I didn't see that. There's a, a chest in which you use this little key with a skull on it, and it gives you really good guns. They don't explain where this stuff comes from, but it shows up. And yet we got none of that. And yeah. that was just kind of like, you were like, what's the point of this? Like, this is not even Borderlands. This is just... A movie that calls itself Borderlands. Right. It, ha- it has the rights to stuff, but it doesn't know what it is. Right. Like, it's just... Yeah, dude, like, they gotta do that... Um, you know how people were really happy about uh, Oh Boy playing Witcher? They were like, oh, Henry man, he did, he did really good at Witcher because he actually knew the material. Mm-hmm. The problem is, is that these people don't care about the material. They just want, like... They're looking to get that bag. It was like, yeah, just slap the, slap the name... They'll they'll be there. Yeah, and they're not wrong. Like, of course, I'll, I'll be there because it's a thing that I love, and I hope that it would be good so yeah. I can get more and more of it. Mm-hmm. Like, tell a cool three stories and let me go through those movies. Like, yeah, man, this is good. But instead, it's just this. Damn. Well, uh, I have a couple reviews here pulled up um, that I would like to read for you. So, firstly and foremost. Uh, a, a reference to uh, Dungeons and Dragons. If they had the Dungeons and Dragons guys do this, it would be a masterpiece. I th- I kind of agree. I think it's <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, that we got Furiosa for dudes who spend their allowance at box lunch, which I thought was very accurate. Um, pretty good one right there. Uh, that's a one star review. Um, one and a half stars. Uh, I feel about Borderlands what you'd feel if your local middle school put on a play version of a popular video game. Is it any good? No. Are there massive, obvious obvious problems that are occasionally baffling? Absolutely. Is there anything of artistically redeeming value? Not really. But do you kind of appreciate that everyone got all, up, all dressed up and put on a bunch of effort? Yeah, kind of. It's like, they tried, you know? They so you did. gotta give them just a little bit. But I don't think they what tried, they but what they tried they failed. Um, this person says three star review. I had to find a couple slightly positive. It was it was literally impossible to find a four or any higher. Um, there was one that said Krieger. That's the crazy psycho guy's name. Oh right? yeah, that he was husband material. Krieg that's, was the Krieg and Kevin Hart was the best part of the movie. There you go. Like, all Cree gotta say is, I have a bicycle for two. A meat bicycle for two. And I would've been like, This is the greatest movie of all time. But you can't have Krieg and not have Maya in the same movie. Mm. It makes no sense. When you gonna fall in love with Lilith? Oh, Maya is the siren of the second movie. Okay. A second game. Second game, sure. Um, This person says, Having Kevin Hart... One of the funniest people in the world play a serious role as Roland in a Borderlands film known for its comedic tone seems like a missed opportunity. Uh, which is kind of in contrast to what we believe. I, I was going to say, I'm sick and tired of Kevin Hart <laughs> and uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson and all their escapades. And I, it, this sort of felt like a breath of fresh air for me, mm-hmm. where th- he was the least Kevin Hart he's ever been. Yes. Yeah. I, and he and he again. He can. There was that one movie he played with um, Brian Cranston, in which he played a serious role, mm. and he was just like he can do the serious. He like he can do it, but people don't have faith that he can. Right. And he did a really good role in, to be honest. Like he he did a really good role in. I mean, I don't remember if Roland was short or not, but. <laughs> Poor Kevin Hart. Poor Kevin Hart. Like he really be catching strays about his height, but like they could have, they could have gave him that Vin Diesel special, made him look taller. 
but they didn't. And I think it's probably his own choice. He's like, man, no, I'm short, and I'm going to live with that. You know, power to the short kings. Uh, this other final review I have here. This movie is not a masterpiece, and far from perfect, but it was fun. It definitely is not like the games to a perfect copy, but it's almost a shadow or a general outline of the games. It's almost like it was described by someone who had played the game once ten years ago, and that's what they based it on. I did find it humorous at times and laughed more than once, sometimes from how bad and corny it was. It was predictable for how it ended as well. Um, I'll give it 6 out of 10 because I had a hot date with me. Nice. Nice. Great one. Shout out to Anthony and his hot date. That's That sort of encapsulates my feelings as well. If we wanted to look at my review... Uh, da, 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 da. Oh gosh. We'll edit this out, it's fine. Where is my review? Here we go. Uh, I don't know what the world is on about, but that was... Oh, okay, sorry. I w I'm, I'm reading this incorrectly. I don't know what the world is on about, but that was a good bit of fun. Aw, cute. <laughs> it's certainly no honor among thieves. Boom. Reference to Dungeons and Dragons again. Uh, but I enjoyed it. Makes me want to play the games. I might just play Borderlands 3 again, because that's the only one I have. Uh, great character design... Maybe not true. Uh, interesting, simple, but interesting setting, and a little, very, very small piece of great to go with it. Oh, that's great. Uh, really not sure why everyone is hating enough to put this at a 1.7. I still believe that. Uh, it's not great by any means, but it's fun. You guys are so mean sometimes. You guys probably hated Rebel Moon, too. Um, never even seen it. Never even seen it. Rebel Moon sucks. It's true, but I like it anyway. And that's sort of the vibe for Borderlands. Um, it was the LaCroix of movies. Oh, like, interesting. The person who, like, that one guy mentioned that maybe they played the game 10 years ago, he wasn't even in a, He was in another room. They had him gagged, and he had to muffle what he thought he remembered. Wow. While they were, I don't know, waterboarding his grandma. Good like, it grief. was... <laughs> like, it, it, it just fell flat. For me, mm. and I, I don't even think I wrote a review. Like I was just kind of like, never does. I was super disappointed. I really yeah. don't. I, I should get on that. I pay for the uh, the premium. It's a patron right here. Yeah, I, I don't know, use it, but um, like it, it could have been, it could have been good, and like it could have, it could have really inspired. Like even if it was just like a bad movie adaptation, but like how, like I had fun, like. I would have been like, okay. I mean, story, not so great, but like, it could have been better. And they didn't, I don't think they tried. Mm -hmm. And I don't think they ever will try. And it kind of scares me for part four, because even part three, part three was, the, the gameplay was amazing. Like, yeah. all the stuff you can do, amazing. The story sucked. Like, the story was just, like, I couldn't even really remember how much it was. Yeah. Like, I was just like... Ah, yeah, this Are they is even on Pandora anymore? Uh, you travel through... It's in a, in a planetary I travel see. now. Okay. Which, that part was cool. I mean, it was... You got to play... Like, because you don't really get the whole world. You just only get a part of each world. Mm. But they they like, oh, you have multiple planets. Like, it's just four stages, man. I like, see. That's brutal. I did remember... Because I watched probably... Four or five hours of gameplay when it first came out, I watched somebody stream it, and they had like a dog, or a pet or something. Oh yeah. And I was like, "That's the one I want to play." Um, that sounds sweet. And I think I tried to get. I don't even know if I got far enough into the game to get a subclass or a class, <laughs> or whatever. Um, so it was just like, it didn't really work out. Uh, yeah. But maybe I'll try it again, you know, because the the movie seems seemed interesting to me. I I had fun with it, you know. It it's gonna be right in the middle with all the you know other three star movies that have come out this year. Because, good lord, what a terrible year it has been. Dude, I I was looking at my list to like, like think about it, like think about what was my favorite. But like, man, it really has been dry this year. Like it, some terrible movies. Yeah. <laughs> It's like um, if you don't have if you haven't seen Dune Part Two or Challengers, it's like what what are you putting in your list for the year? Because it's like when I look at my list for the year, you know, and this this of course includes movies that 
this is all the movies I saw for the first time this year, so there it's a little skewed um, with some extra stuff in here. Um, but like, Dune Part Two is at the top. What what can you do? It's not even that great. I mean, it was great. It was great. You know, <laughs> don't get me wrong. But uh, you know, I'm over here. I'm I'm almost finished with Dune Messiah now, which would be the third movie, and. I don't know. I don't know how Denis is gonna do it, because the changes he made from the end of the first book to Dune Part Two. I don't know how he's gonna. I don't know how he's gonna manipulate the story to make Dune Messiah. There's 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 some major characters that have disappeared that are not disappeared. <laughs> um, so we'll see what happens. But. Uh, We'll see. Hopefully they bring Jason Momoa back is all I'm going to say. Boom. Um, but yeah, so what? what is your favorite movie of the year? Could you even bring something to mind? Uh, I mean, if I had to choose, I'll say maybe maybe two things. Uh, Monkey Man. I okay. thought Monkey Man was a, a really good movie. I thought it was, uh, I don't know, very true to itself. It yeah. was like, it was a... a a guy who wanted to get vengeance, and I was like, "Get that vengeance, man! Yeah. Get it!" Uh, and a movie that I, another movie that I like, it was called uh, "The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare." Mm, okay, I yeah. was like, "Heck yeah!" That was that Guy Ritchie. He wrote that, right? I do believe Guy Ritchie is director. He may very well have been a writer as well. Yes. Yeah, I was like, "This that." I love that movie. I was just like, ah, this is yeah. so good. And, like, I, I everything else just was so bad. Yeah. <laughs> it it's was been, so bad. It's been a rough year. Uh, obviously, you know, we have the writer strike and the actor strike that went on last year that we now feel the effects of as the movies are being released. But, you know, we got... We got Boy Kills World this year. Oh, I forgot about that. Movie. That was fun. It was, it was pretty right? fun. Right? It was okay. Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, was mm. released this year. Solid. I didn't really have faith in it, but I did like it. Yeah. Uh, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Some people care about that, Jordan. Um, <laughs> Inside Out 2. People are loving that. It made a billion dollars. I think it passed... I think it passed Mario. Uh, actually, it might even be the number one highest grossing animated film of all time now because it went it went past frozen 2 as well did wonka come out this year wonka came out last year oh, yes oh. um i saw i saw that for the first time i don't want to say i want to say january maybe i really did like that um we got iss i saw the matrix for the first time this year that's crazy that you went this um, but i was seeing that i went i finally went and saw argyle um, Such a dumb movie. What? But, what a mid I had, movie. I had put like the, the fun you had with Borderlands is what I had with Argo, okay. and I read those reviews, and people were so mad at that movie. And I was just like, that movie at no point took itself seriously. Yeah. And it was just like, yeah, man, this is gonna suck, and we're gonna have fun while doing it. There you go. Like if I if those people in Borderlands would have had fun making a terrible movie. You could you would be able to feel that, but what's her name? Uh, Bryce, Bryce, Bryce Dallas Howard. She was she was doing the most goofiest things, like the, the ice the skating thing, triple triple double cross. She was going on back and forth and back and forth. It was crazy. Yeah. Um, Kinds of kindness came out this year. I don't know if even a lot of people saw it. It's uh, it's poor things part two. I mean, it's not literally, but it's the same. It's a lot of the same cast. Um, Godzilla X Kong, The New Empire, came out this year. It was pretty fun. Yeah, it was fun, but it was not good. No. Um, and then we have Madam <laughs> Web here at the bottom, and some Netflix movies. I think later today I'm going to watch Peacock's The Killer, uh, which stars uh, Nathalie. I don't remember her name. She's Miss Ande from Game of Thrones. And uh, she kills people in this movie, apparently. Uh, she's the lady from... The, she's also in the Fast and the Furious, right? She may be. That's true. She's going to be the main character? Yes. Uh, da -da 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 -da. 
Nathalie Emmanuel. This is her. Hmm. Oh, she's apparently in two Maze Runner movies. I didn't know that. She is. She does appear in multiple Fast and Furious movies. Also, Arthur the King, the dog marathon movie. Um, here she is as the killer. Not to be confused with Netflix's The Killer from last year, starring Michael Fassbender, which was a good movie. Uh, this one's sitting at a three, which is surprisingly high for random killer movie. I think it's because of the great John Woo, um, mm -hmm. who brings a lot of quality to the uh, film industry, of course. Um, except for that. Except for Silent Night. <laughs> um, oh, okay, so I'm, I'm getting the sense that this may have been a remake of sorts of an older movie called The Killer from 1989. Also read by John Woo. Also directed and maybe even written by John Woo. So, there you go, folks. Uh, final question for you, Matthew. What is your favorite movie? I already know the answer to it because it is the correct answer. Interstellar. It is Interstellar. That is so and that is where we align truly. I mean, what a film. Anything with Matthew McConaughey in it, I'm a rock with it. There it is. Like, even in the stuff people consider bad, He's I'm there. like, heck yes. I've been liking that dude since I was a kid. And I'm going to continue to like it. Has he in The Big Lebowski? I actually don't think I've ever seen that. Okay. People talk about it so much, I've never I seen know. it. What's the deal with Matthew McConaughey? I don't know how to spell his name. I'm just going to give up halfway through. Uh, oh, no. We'll just go with Matthew and see if he still shows up. There he is. There he is, one. the first one. Okay. I mean, we're seeing... We're seeing Wolf of Wall Street. We're seeing How to Lose a Guy in Ten Days. What a classic. Deadpool and Wolverine. He must have shown up. He was... I've he must have one. been a Deadpool. That would be Club. really funny. But I, I don't remember ever seeing... Dallas Buyers Club. Tropic Thunder. Are we allowed to like Tropic Thunder? I'm going to ask because I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I like it. I'm I personally kidding. did not care that Robbie Downey Jr. did that whole thing. Yeah. That was funny. And I ain't gonna lie to you, realistically, if I'm being totally honest with y'all and myself, for the longest time after that movie came out, because I did not finish it at first, mm. I genuinely was like, what happened to that guy that was in Tropic Thunder? Where did I was he like, go? I, I saw him in that one movie... And I never seen him again. And then all of my friends, I said this in front of all of my friends who were black, and they were like, that was Robert Downey Jr. What are you talking about? And I was like, no, 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 because it was a black guy. It was a black guy that I'm talking about. Right. It was like, no, 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 no. At the end of the movie, or like halfway through or whatever, he wipes off the stuff. And I was like, man, <laughs> dude, I really just thought he was a whole black dude. And I was looking for him in movies. He was never there. Never there. Unreal. Matthew McConaughey was in Kubo and the Two Strings. He's the Beatle. Okay, I need to watch this movie. This is one of the, um, like, uh, Paranorman or uh, Box Trolls. All those movies, Claymation. What is the other ones? Coraline. Jeez. I thought this was a Netflix original. No. It, I mean, it may have been, but it's like... Uh, Bigger than I know. These guys are in... Uh, Hillsborough. Really? I think there's, I believe their studio is here in Hillsborough. Um, or Beaverton area somewhere. They're, uh, the, I can't think of the name of the people. Uh, the studio is funded by their dad, who is Phil Knight, who is Nike's, uh, creator. So there is a bit of a Nepo baby kind of going on. What a good investment, though, because. But they make some, they make <laughs> some actual good movies yeah. at the end of the day. So, I think the studio is called something... What is the studio's name? They have a studio name. I can't think of what the heck their name is. Laika, of course, yes. Coraline, Corpse Bride, Kubo and the Two Strings, Paranorman, uh, Box Trolls, Missing Link, that sort of stuff. Out of uh, all these movies, the only one I ever saw was, I think, Missing Link. 
Because Hugh Jackman plays that, right? I believe he is the missing link. If not, he is this guy. Mm. Um, yeah, no, he's the he's the man. But yeah, um, this has been a review, sort of podcast, sort of interview of Borderlands 2024. Look out for the sequel. <laughs> it's coming. It's unfortunate. They genuinely let's let's quickly look at the box office. Let's quickly see what these guys are pulling in because surely they have made 5 million dollars by now. They are sitting at 23 million dollars. Oof, mm. that is rough. Which I'm sure the if we could see the budget, I would love to know. Um, was probably over a hundred million dollars, if we're being office uh, honest, a hundred to a hundred and twenty million dollars. Jeez. And they're they're sitting at about a loss of a hundred million dollars. Be on the lookout for that as a Peacock original. Oh, dude, it's it's it may already be streaming. A BET original, um, which I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if it goes on streaming and then it's number one movies on Netflix for like a week. You know, like everybody just puts it on. I know uh, Jordan told me, because I reviewed it and gave it three three stars or whatever. And he says I'll wait for it to come out on streaming, which you know was more than I was ever expecting him to do because he saw the trailer and, like you, thought this movie looks really bad. Yeah. <laughs> it sucked, man. That is too bad. It is. I will. Im- I will beg you, anyone watching, play the games. Mm. Play the games. They're super fun. Never let this judge, or you, whether you liked it or not, never let this be the judge of why this series is bad. It's such a good game. And I'm, again, you don't go into it looking for a story. The story is good, especially in part two. But it's such a fun game. Like, you have so much fun. It's back at a time when we all still got into got together in a living room and played video games. Beautiful. It was so fun. It was fun playing with friends. It was fun playing alone. It was just so much fun to be had sitting there watching a little dumb robot curse. Could you do couch co-op, like split screen? Yeah, you can. Okay. You still can do it. I think you can even do it on part three. Wow. And it's it's so worth it. Like I don't know why, as a video game whole, we all walked away from couch co-op but probably because they wanted to make more money realistically. You gotta buy the game twice. Yeah, dude. You know, uh, so the stupid. last the last game I remember that could do couch co-op was Cuphead. You remember Cuphead? Mm, mm. So, I actually never played it, but it... Uh, I, played it. it for, I played it for about 20 minutes and got super pissed off. So It, it looked hard. Yeah, I wasn't about to lose my mind playing that game. Well, with that being said, thank you guys so much for listening, so much for watching. This one is going to be, I'm going to try to follow in Jordan's footsteps and like add footage from the movie and the games and stuff and kind of try to make this like a thing, a video, if you will. Um, With that being said, uh, go check out uh, our other podcast episodes. We've recently been working into the PowerPoint space. I don't know if you've been watching anything at all. I've Uh, seen one. There we go. That's one episode more than most. Um, Watch Quarter Twins. There it is. <laughs> uh, we've been we've been getting into the PowerPoint space, explaining movie series. We recently did Alien uh, in in response to the recent Alien Romulus movie, which Jordan just released a video on uh, this last Friday, which was yesterday as day of recording. Um, so check that out. Check out all our other stuff. Um, and we'll see you in the next one. I am brewing a Star Trek PowerPoint, so you guys get ready for that. It's 13 movies long. It may require multiple parts. So, yes, that's exciting. And, uh, we'll catch you 